California will spend millions to fight teen vaping. The governor ordering a new crackdown. California, the third state in the past two weeks to take executive action. KPI X5 political insider Phil Matier is here with what the governor's order will do and what it won't do. That's right. And Alan, as you point out, this isn't the first state to take action. But the governor's action comes after hundreds of illnesses and at least six deaths that have been linked to vaping. Now, here in California, there's been more than 60 cases of lung illness that have been reported in relation to vaping. So the flavored e-cigarettes are also contributing to a rise in smoking in youth. Now, officials are working to try to prevent any more children from picking up the habit. The executive order that Newsom issued cracks down on vaping in four different ways. First, it instructs state regulators to find ways to ban illegal and counterfeit vaping products. And also, it includes a $20 million public awareness campaign, and it asks officials to develop warning signs that would be placed at retailers and on advertising for e-cigarettes, explaining the dangers. Newsom also wants the state tax agency to see if it can increase taxes on e-cigarettes. They typically face lower taxes than traditional tobacco taxes. Now, listen, if that doesn't seem like all that much compared to what other states doing, it's basically what Newsom can't do. Unlike the governors of Massachusetts, I mean, of Michigan and New York, Newsom said he can't just take executive action to ban flavored e-cigarettes, even though he wants to. It requires an act of the legislature. They should be banned. Uh, but as you know, in, te in New York, they requested their agencies to move forward. I'm requesting my agencies to move forward. I do not believe in these flavored tobacco products, uh, and I hope that we will... Uh, address that issue uh, administratively. Now, according to the governor's office, about 11% of high school students in California have reported using e-cigarettes, and more than 80% of the students who use tobacco products say they use a vaping device. And it's not just nicotine vaping. California is also facing the challenge of bootleg cannabis vaping products that are being sold on the streets as well. Now, all of this follows previous attempts to crack down on vaping. Those, however, failed statewide in the legislature amid lobbying by big companies like Juul. By the way, for their part, Juul released this statement on the executive order saying that, quote, we will review today's announcement as we strongly agree with the need for aggressive category-wide action on vapor products and applaud action cracking down on the counterfeit and knockoff compatible products. Mm -hmm. You know, it's going to be an interesting situation because this, this will hold until going forward. But mm -hmm. in January, the legislature comes back, and I talked with State uh, Senator Jerry Hill, who was pushing the vaping ban. He says it's going to be a tough sell. Even with all of this going on, it's going to be a Even tough sell. Even so, really? Yes, because the, the lobbying is that strong. The lobbying is that strong. And there's also a question about how far these bans should go. Should they huh. eliminate flavored uh, tobacco byproducts altogether, no. or just the ones that are the bubble gums and the kids? And also the big question about that cannabis as well, which yeah. is outside yeah. of this whole... Multi-layered... Yeah, deal. All right. All right, Phil. Well, thank Thanks. You.